What is up guys? My name is Tabby and welcome back to my channel. So guys, I am so excited to finally share this box with you guys. Literary Crate's Magical Edition Box Year 7 Part 1. They actually decided to split Year 7 into two separate boxes. So this is the first box for Year 7. And I'm so glad they did divide Year 7 up because a lot happened. And this way we have a chance to get more replicas and more just amazing items. Book 7 I think is my second favorite book in the entire Harry Potter series. So I'm so excited to see what they have come up with. I know a lot of people have already seen this box, but I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you guys. So if you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. First, let's look at this box. I mean, this is gorgeous. So this is the front of the box. We have the Deathly Hollow with the three brothers with the Elder Wand, the Invisibility Cloak, and then the Resurrection Stone. And then we have Harry's parents' grave with the wreath that Hermione conjured. And then on this side, we have the Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore. And then we see a picture of Albus and Grindelwald. And then we have Harry and Hermione in the forest when Harry sees the doe. And then here we see the Ministry has fallen. Scrimgeour is dead. They are coming. This is from Kingsley and that is his um, Patronus. And this is the very bottom. I forgot to mark out my address, but we see Creature and then the locket with the note from Sirius's brother. Their boxes, I think, are just getting better and better. And I love the artwork that they do. Sneak peek. Ooh, I see a blanket right on top. I think this might be more of a tapestry. Because if it's a blanket, it is a very small blanket. Like, maybe a blanket for toddlers. So it's a tapestry blanket, I don't know, of Hogwarts and kind of the wizarding world. We have Azkaban over here with Dementors. And then we see Bobaton's blue carriage. And then right here we see Hogwarts with Hogsmeade connected. And then down here we have... Uh, King's Cross Station, Little Hangleton, and that's the graveyard that Lord Voldemort was kind of resurrected to his body. Then we have the Forest of Dean, which is one of the places that the trio camped at. Then we have the Burrow, Godric's Hollow, Malfoy Manor, so Ministry of Magic, Privet Drive down here. I actually really like this, not as a blanket. I think I'm actually gonna hang this on my wall. I like that it's kind of a map of the wizarding world. So I love it. Great start to the box. And next we have a bag. It has Hedwig on there sitting on some books. So I'm assuming this is a Hedwig item. It's a little Hedwig, I'm assuming maybe kind of ornament type thing because this did come out in December. I'm just behind as usual. Um, so yeah, that is so cute. I think that was one of the hardest deaths in the book for me was Hedwig and Dobby. Like, why? Why? What was the point? So I really like this and this is such a cute bag. Next, we have a tin cup. Oh, that is so cute. Worst camping trip ever. We see Ron with his radio, Harry with the golden snitch, and Hermione with a book. I'm assuming the Tales of Beetle and Bard. And then over on this side, we see a doe Patronus. But that's really cute. The worst camping trip ever. Yes, Ron would attest to that. Next, we have, it looks like a candle. It is Ron when he finally went back to Harry and Hermione, and you can see them up here in the corner. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, so green with some sparkles and stars in there. That is really cute. Oh, it smells kind of foresty, which is perfect for this moment in the book. Ooh, I really like it. We do tend to get a lot of candles, but I really like the shape and the jar, I guess, they chose to put this in. And such a good moment from the book. So, I really like it. Oh, this is the item I have been so excited about. They did a spoiler on their Instagram. And it is Hermione's bag. I mean, oh my gosh. That is so cool. 
So it like opens all the way and you have all this space and then you have these little things just to tighten it back up. I love the design of this. Look at these beads and the decoration on the bottom. That is just so freaking cute. I probably won't actually use this as a bag, but it is such a great replica and I adore it. Unfortunately, it did not come with the invisible expansion charm or indistinguishable expansion charm. I, my Harry Potter knowledge is failing me, but this is, uh, I love it so freaking much. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And next we have an enamel pin. It is a golden snitch and the card says herein is set forth the last will and testament of Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. And on the golden snitch it says I open at the close. And it looks like it actually, it does, it actually opens. Oh my gosh, hold on. That is awesome. When you open it, you can see the resurrection stone with the Deathly Hollow symbol on there. Oh, I think this might be one of my favorite enamel pins from Lit Joy Crate. Wow, I really, really hope we get another pin banner in here because I need one hardcore. Like, oh, uh, perfect pin for this box. Wow. Next we have, Oh my gosh. It is the Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore by Rita Skeeter. Oh my God. I'm pretty sure this is probably just a notebook. It is just a notebook. Oh my God. I literally would have died if this would have actually been like a replica book from Rita Skeeter. But, but look at this gold foiling. That is so pretty and on the back it has reviews look at the inside oh my gosh that is so pretty but yeah just a regular notebook or journal i think this might be my favorite harry potter journal ever next we have it is a puzzle of harry and hermione at godrick's hollow looking at the statue of harry as a baby and his parents all the feels jeez! I love puzzles especially Harry Potter ones so I cannot wait to put this together hopefully my kids won't destroy it and next it looks like we have some socks and on the bottom it says keep off the dirigible plums these are so cute I love that they threw in a little Luna love good in there well actually it's kind of referring to when Luna's dad betrayed Harry and tried to turn him into the Death Eaters but as a parent I kind of understand why he did it which definitely changed from when I read the books as a kid and when I read the books as an adult with kids <laughs> that moment in the books when he betrayed Harry as a kid I was just like yo how could you and then as an adult with kids I was kind of like oh I get it <laughs> and you always got to throw a little Luna in every box I think she's one of my favorite characters so I am a fan of these socks next we have a maybe pillowcase it is a pillowcase and it says let us step into the night and pursue that flighty temptress adventure that of course was from Dumbledore and you can see the Hogwarts castle back there and down here we have a centaur, unicorn, a thestral, we see a spider. I'm kind of confused by this pillowcase. Albus is dead, spoiler alert, but yeah, Albus died in book six. I don't know why they would include the quote he said in the box for year seven. Am I missing something? But I do love Harry Potter pillowcases. I do prefer the full size pillowcases over like the decorative pillowcases, but that is an iconic quote from Dumbledore and that's very pretty, so I like it. And next it looks like we have a book sleeve. It's the Tales of Beetle and Bard and we have the Elder Wand here, the Deathly Hollow symbol here. We even see the bridge with the three brothers and death blocking their way. That is such a pretty book sleeve. It is a fairly good size. Like I think it can hold like one good hardback. Very good quality as always from Lit Joy Crate. I personally love book sleeves. I collect them so I really really like this. That is such a cool book sleeve. Next it looks like we have a pen. I love a good pen. And it says Lit Joy Crate. 
and it looks like, oh, that is so cool. We have the Patronus dough up here, and it looks like it's kind of a lake, and then you can see the sword down there. Ooh, and when you turn it upside down, the sword kind of goes up. So the sword moves. That is such a cool idea. Like, oh my gosh. It's a pen, but it's the perfect pen. Next, we have some more magnetic bookmarks. I like that they've kind of done these in every box. We have Lucius Malfoy in his Death Eater mask. We have the office door of Dolores Umbridge, senior undersecretary to the minister, and then head of the Muggleborn Registration Commission. And then we have Harry and Hagrid on the motorcycle. I love their magnetic bookmarks. I have finally been able to get almost all of them that they've made for the Magical Edition boxes. So I'm not gonna lie guys, my magnetic bookmark collection is kind of ridiculous and I love it. Next we have some more trading cards. We see Hedwig sitting on a cage. Then we have Hermione. It kind of looks like she's in a library, which for book seven is not accurate because I don't think she was in a library at all. <laughs> and then we have Hagrid with a dragon, which again does not kind of correlate with book seven. So maybe these trading cards aren't based off book seven. They're just trading cards. I, I don't know because that he had the dragon in book one. So, not really how I picture, picture Hagrid either. And then we have Ron with a broken wand, which happens in book two. Huh. And then we have Arthur and Molly Weasley. I'm not going to lie. These aren't my favorite trading cards that we've gotten from Lit Joy Crate. Um, Hedwig is my favorite. It's the most accurate, I would guess. Just the artwork and the time references I'm just not really that big of a fan of. But I do like that I get to add more trading cards to my collection. Um, I just wish these were based off book seven. Yeah. And last in the box, we have an envelope with a wax seal on there. I don't know if that's initials or something. I can't really tell. Oh, it is Floor and Bill's wedding invitation. And again, it has some really pretty gold foiling. Mr. and Mrs. Weasley request the honor of your presence at the marriage of Flora Isabel de Clore to their son, William Arthur Weasley, Friday the 1st of August, 1997, at 6 o'clock, the borough, Devon, England? Devon? Don? Oh, I just offended some people. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is so pretty. I actually already have a replica of their wedding invitation, so now I have two. They're very different, though. And I like both of them. They are so pretty. I am such a sucker for like the gold foiling. Last is the spoiler card. Herein is set forth the last will and testament of Albus Dumbledore. And it has all of the items. We had the Deluminator candle. The Tales of Beetle and Bard book sleeve. The Golden Snitch enamel pin. The Gryffindor sword floating pin. The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore notebook the Godric's Hollow Puzzle, the Atlas of the English Wizarding World Blanket. So that was supposed to be a blanket. Wow, that is way too small for a blanket. Again, I'm 4'11", and I think it's too small. Like, imagine people who are, like, regular size. Like, I'm a hobbit compared to most people, and that blanket's too small for me. So, definitely kind of a miss on the size of the blanket. The Dirigible Plum Socks. Hermione's beaded bottomless bag, the camping trip mug, the magnetic bookmark set, the Dumbledore quote pillowcase. Oh, it does say why this quote might be from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. It seemed the perfect quote to mark the beginning of the Golden Trio's new adventure to destroy Horcruxes. So yes, it is not from book seven. Um, and then the Hedwig ornament, and then Bill and Floor's wedding invitation, and then the trading cards. So yes, that was everything from Magical Edition Year 7.1. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Definitely for me, Hermione's beaded bag replica is my absolute favorite. I've wanted this for so long, and this is such good quality. So 
hands down my favorite item from this box. But I also really loved the golden snitch enamel pin and the fact that it opens like genius. Perfect, perfect, perfect. My least favorite item would probably be the trading cards. Again, they just weren't my favorites. But yeah, as always, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Deliminate what? Why does that sound weird? Bro, no.